Hello guys, good evening. How are you today? Good evening. Hello, Miriam. Hi, good teacher. evening. Hello, Hello Greta Carolina. Good evening. Hello. Hello. Hello, Madeline and Lizette. Good evening. Hello, Maria Consuelo. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Hello, Maybelline. Hello, Catherine. Hello, Noel. Good evening. Good evening. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo estuvo su día? It was good or bad? Excellent. Or today wasn't your day? Or no Excellent. Excellent. Ok. Bueno, por ahí se están conectando más de nuestros compañeros. Bueno. Hello, Ricardo de Jesús. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Catherine Giselle, good evening. How are you today, Catherine? Good evening, I'm fine. Thank you. And perfect. Thank you for asking me. Ok, bueno, en la clase anterior, ¿verdad? Estuvimos estudiando. ¿Se acuerdan? ¿Cuál fue el vocabulario de la clase anterior? Fruits and vegetables. Ok, fruits, vegetables. Some and any. Ah, ok, some and any, excelente. Ok, we have been studying food, right? Hemos estu estado estudiando vocabulario acerca de los alimentos. Pero antes de comenzar con eso, cuéntenme cómo van con la plataforma. Ya está finalizada la sección 3 y el midterm. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. Ok, si sí, ya completó esa sección, diga conmigo. Yes, I did it, teacher. Yes, yes, I did, I did. teacher. Yes, I did. Ok, yes, I did, it, teacher. Sí, ya lo hice, sí. Lo hice, ok. Bueno, y los que tienen algún ejercicio pendiente de la sección 1, 2, 3 y 4, ¿han encontrado algún problema en esos ejercicios? Teacher, ya hace días que lo resolví, era que ya ni me acuerdo. Ya la semana pasada terminé todas las secciones. Ok, great, great, great. Eh, si les hace falta, ¿verdad? Hacerles hincapié en eso, ¿verdad? Que por favor, trabajemos en la plataforma. Es necesario llegar al 80% para que pueda inscribirse al siguiente curso. Por ahí nos mandaron un mensaje, ¿verdad? Hoy por la tarde, que tenemos que tener completo el 80% en la plataforma para poder optar a la inscripción del siguiente curso. Entonces, no tenemos que esperar hasta el último día de clases. De hecho, una clase antes, una sesión virtual antes, usted tiene que haber completado por lo menos, por lo menos el 80% de los ejercicios y las evaluaciones que están en la plataforma. Entonces, es necesario que lo hagamos con anticipación. Para que el último día no andemos corriendo ahí, ¿verdad? Que no nos aparezcan el montón de ejercicios que no hemos resuelto. Y no vamos a dormir toda la noche. Nos vamos a acostar a la una resolviendo la plataforma. Entonces, no hay que esperar llegar a eso. ¿verdad? Hay que hacerlo con anticipación. Ya hoy es nuestro último día de clases antes de vacaciones. Ya mañana vacación, ¿verdad? ¿Quiénes salen de vacaciones el fin de semana? ¿O tienen que ir a trabajar todavía la próxima? No. Yes. Bueno. Entonces, los que salen el día de mañana, pues desde ya, felices vacaciones. Y los que van a esperar un poquito más, un par de días más, también, ¿verdad? Espero que los días que les den libres, eh, los disfruten con su familia. Y si queda por ahí un espacio, ¿verdad? Trabajar en la plataforma. 
no se les olvide, aunque sea una hora, ¿verdad? aunque sea una hora, hoy le voy a dedicar tiempo a la plataforma. De todos modos, no hay ruedas, no van a haber ruedas. ¿verdad? Entonces podemos trabajar, ¿verdad? Podemos avanzar. Si es posible dejar terminado esos ejercicios hoy en vacaciones, excelente, ¿verdad? Right? On vacation, you can finish your exercise, your exercises and your evaluation. Si cuando regresemos de vacaciones, ya está todo terminado. You have finished everything. Está todo finalizado, completed, completo. And you won't have to worry anymore about that. Y ya no va a tener que preocuparse acerca de eso. Madeline, what is your question? Uh, en mi caso ya terminé uh, los ejercicios en la plataforma y mi duda es, es que hasta el día de hoy teníamos para inscribirnos al siguiente módulo y aún no lo he hecho. Entonces, ¿sería posible si lo hago mañana eh, estar válido? Déjeme preguntarle a Miss Elena y yo le voy a confirmar. Le voy a preguntar qué podemos Perfecto. hacer en ese caso que no hayamos completado los formularios a tiempo, ¿verdad? completado y entregado los formularios a tiempo. Espero que haya una prórroga ¿verdad? para que se puedan inscribir. Esperaría que sí haya una prórroga okay. para que se puedan inscribir, pero yo le voy a confirmar en el grupo de WhatsApp. ¿De acuerdo? Yo okay, consulto gracias. y yo le confirmo. Any other question? ¿Alguna otra pregunta? Questions, no more question. Todo está bien con los ejercicios en la plataforma. Teacher, respecto a la, a la instrucción, la vez pasada o lo, las dos instrucciones anteriores, hemos recibido correo de confirmación, pero en este caso yo no he recibido, no sé si los demás compañeros han recibido. De no. momento creo que ninguno ha recibido, ¿no? porque son bastantes estudiantes los que ha, se han inscrito que han mandado okay. su inscripción, entonces eh, imagino que están empezando a revisarlo. Pero no se preocupe okay. que siempre confirmen. Okay. A mí vía WhatsApp me confirmaron que habían recibido mis documentos. Yo les escribí ahora y no me han contestado nada. Bueno, ayer y no me han contestado nada. Okay. Va, esperemos que en la semana después de vacaciones, porque imagino que ellos también van a tener vacaciones, entonces, en la semana después de vacaciones, si no nos confirman, podemos comenzar a consultar. ¿verdad? Pero de momento tenemos que tener paciencia, ya que son muchos los estudiantes que están enviando sus formularios. Ok, Roxana, no hay problema. Y Luis, por ahí hay un icono, ¿verdad? Hay un icono que tiene los audífonos. Tiene que darle ahí, tiene que darle conectar el audio. Luis en el chat dice que no puede escucharnos. Bueno, ¿alguna otra pregunta? Do you have any other question? No hay preguntas. No, no. question today. No? Ok. Eh, ok. ¿Where is Luis? Luis. Hoy no se conectó Luis. Maurice. Me extraña donde siempre están puntuales. Ok, bueno. Y los demás sí los veo por acá, ¿verdad? Ok, muy bien. So, let's start with today's topic. Eh, we were talking about food, right? We learned many vocabulary about food. Vegetable, fruit, oil, fat, candies. Eh, which other vocabulary? About grains. So, and we learned about some and any the last class. And today we are going to talk about Frequency adverbs. Hoy vamos a hablar acerca de los adverbios de frecuencia. Pero antes de ir al tema de hoy, cuéntenme, ¿cuál, ¿qué alimentos hay en un desayuno típico en El Salvador? Beans. Ok. Beans. Beans. Eggs. Cream. Coffee. Coffee. Cheese, Please. coffee, meal. Okay, Red. excellent. Okay, by the way, juice, orange. Okay, orange juice, 
Orange juice, yes, right, jugo de naranja. Orange juice, Thank Orange you, juice. no problem. Pla plata plátanos, teacher, ¿cómo se dice? Ok, fried bananas, fried bananas. Ay, si ya se han cochado el plátano. Boiled, boiled bananas. Boiled bananas. Yes. Es solo cocido. Ok, boiled bananas, ok. Excellent. So, how do you say desayuno in English, by the way? Breakfast. 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 Okay, breakfast. breakfast. Excellent. Uh, what about lunch? What is the typical breakfast. food for lunch in El Salvador? Chicken for rice. Chicken. Fish. Okay. Fish. 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 Chicken, yes. rice, salt, tortilla. uh, tortillas, <laughs> hamburgers, Stick. hamburgers, pasta. Pasta, yes. yes. Spaghetti, pasta. Beef, rice, beef. Rice, beef. Excellent. And for dinner, what is the typical beef. food for dinner in El Salvador? Loca. <laughs> okay. Pupusas, aparte de las pupusas, ¿qué más cenamos los salvadoreños? Tamales. Ok, tamales. Tamales, ok. Beans, cream, cheese. Beam, cheese, yes. Thank you, Noel. Y frijoles licuados, como dice, beans licuados. Oh, oh. <laughs> 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 I guess it's, it's mash beans. It's mash beans, I guess. Mash beans. It's mash beans. Like this one, right? It's mash beans. Frijoles licuados. Eh, what more? Eh, for snacks? What are some Salvadorian snacks? Algunos bocadillos salvadoreños. Okay. Potato chips. Potato chips. French fry. Potato, potato chips, ok, chips. Ah, snack. Snacks son bocadillos que tomamos aparte de nuestras meals, ¿verdad? Meals son las comidas, and we have three meals, ¿verdad? Tenemos tres comidas que son breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Y aparte de eso, ¿verdad? Entre esas comidas, we take some snacks. Tomamos algunos snack bocadillos. Snack viene siendo como el postre. Merienda. Mm -hmm. Yuca frita. Tienda, Digamos, eh, entre comidas, pero no bocadillos. Por ejemplo, en la, ma en la mañana, como a las 10, ¿verdad? Que ya siente un poco de hambre, usted va y compra algo. ¿verdad? You buy ah, some, dulce. some fruit, ok, pan dulce en soda, ok, pan dulce, sweet bread en soda. Y por la tarde, por ahí, como a las 3, 3 y media, ¿verdad? Sale donde la señora que vende yuca frita, papa frita. Ay, se mira. Ok, you buy a coffee. Yes, you buy some coffee. And then those are snacks. Esos son snacks, ¿verdad? Bocadillos. Aparte de las tres comidas, ¿verdad? Que hacemos. Ok. So, what are some snacks? ¿Cuáles son algunos de esos snacks? So, you see. Fruit, yes, an fruit. Apple. An apple, an apple could be a snack. Yogurt. Yogurt. Ah, ya veo que comenzando. Apple, yogurt. Cookies. Cookies, cookies, yes. Coffee, wow. bread. Sweet bread, pan dulce, en coffee or soda, café o soda. Entonces, esos son snacks, right? So keep that in mind, please. And we are going to start with today's class. Let me show you the presentation of today. Let me know, please, if you can see my screen. No. No yet? No. Okay, give me a second. It's charging now. Can you see no. my screen? Okay. Yes. Yes. 
Okay, thank you. Thank you, guys. So today we're going to study this topic, frequency adverse. Frequency adverse. Adverbio de frecuencia, ¿verdad? Uh, ¿Con qué frecuencia hacemos una actividad, verdad? Let's see, for example, ¿con qué frecuencia va al supermercado? Uh, and you say, I always go to the supermarket. Una vez por semana. Una vez por semana, entonces you say, I sometimes, I sometimes, I seldom, raras veces, pocas veces, porque yo compro en el mercado o compro en la tienda, in the supermarket. Um, I always go to the supermarket, puede decir alguien, yo solo compro en el super, yo siempre voy ahí. I always go to the supermarket. O usted dice, no, yo prefiero comprar en el mercado. I never go to the supermarket, yo nunca voy a ir. Entonces, ese nunca y ese siempre son los adverbios de frecuencia. Pero antes de ir a esto, let's see some review about the last class. So, look at the following nouns and say which one are countable and which one are uncountable. De los siguientes nombres. ¿Puede decirme cuáles son contables y cuáles son incontables? We studied this mail. topic yesterday. Let us, let us have it in mail. Uncountable. 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 What about this one? Uncountable. Okay, what about this one? Uncountable. What about this one? Uncountable. Uncountable. What about this other one? Contable. Contable. What about ice cream? Contable. Okay. Onion. Contable. Contable. Fruit. Contable. Contable. Uh, contable. Contable. Uncountable. Uncountable. No lo podemos contar. Let's go with, with this word. Chocolate. Uncountable. 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 Uncountable too. What about this other word? How do you say this word? Contable. How do you say this word? How do you pronounce this word? Potato. Potato. So potato is countable or uncountable? Countable. Countable. Countable, right? One potato, two potatoes, three potatoes. And what about the next one? This one. Contable. 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 And how do you say this word? Melon. Melon. Excellent. How do you say this other word? Cream. 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 And is it contable or uncountable? Uncountable. Uncountable. Okay. How do you say this word? Tomato. 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 Okay. Is, is it contable or uncountable? Contable. Contable. Contable, excellent. And this other one? Uncountable. Uncountable. Uncountable, okay. And how do you say this word? Meat. Meat. Meat, excellent. How, does, how do you say this word? Bread. Bread, Bread. excellent. Bread. Is it countable or uncountable? Uncountable. Uncountable. Let's go with the next one. Fish. Uncountable. Uncountable. And this other one? Soda. Uncountable. Uncountable. This one? Uncountable. Uncountable. And this one? Uncountable. Uncountable. Uncountable to a hamburger? Countable. 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 Okay, what is missing? How do you say this? Uncountable. Salt. 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 Is it Salt. countable or uncountable? Uncountable. And what about this one? The delicious sugar. Countable or uncountable? Uncountable. uncountable. Okay. Do you like sugar? Yes. 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 Okay. How many cups of sugar do you do you put to your coffee? Two. Two. About Two. four. Okay. Okay. Two spoons, right? Two spoons of sugar to your cup or coffee. Two spoons. Dos cucharadas. Two spoons. 
Ok. ¿Quién le, ¿Quién le pone más de tres? Three spoons of sugar to your Si es pequeña la cuchara, sí le ponemos más. <laughs> ah, ok, it depends. Ok, it depends on the size of the spoon, right? Ok, excellent. Eh, this one is missing. Contable. 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 What is a carrot? What is a carrot? Zanahoria. Zanahoria. Yes, zanahoria. Thank you. Ok, very good. So, I have here many nouns, right? And some of them are count, and some others are uncountable are uncountable, right? No se pueden contar. So, do you like chicken? Yes, yes I do. Yes, I like chicken. Do you like bread? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay. De todos los alimentos que están acá, what is your favorite? What is your favorite food? My favorite food, uh, chicken. Uh, Cucumber. My favorite is hamburger. Okay, thank you. So someone say chocolate, someone say cucumbers, and some other ones say hamburger. Okay, cucumbers. Do you like in salad or with salt and I was the in chili? Yes, and I was the in chili. Okay, excellent. Okay, delicious cucumbers, right? Okay, yes. so let's yes, continue. Yes, it's very delicious. Yes, you're right. Uh, okay, now let's go with this. Ah, uh, bueno, voy a dejar de compartir en la pantalla un momento para quitar las líneas. Okay, now we can continue. Okay, complete the following sentences with these two words, some or any. Complete the following sentences using some or any. Any. We need any. We need some. 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 Flow. Some. Flow. Ah, some. Some. Flow. Okay, wait, wait. So uh, this is a conversation, right? And someone says, what do we need to make a cake? ¿Qué necesitamos para hacer un pastel? Y la otra persona dice, we need. We need some. 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 Ok. Some or any. Vamos a ver some. si estaban en lo correcto. Some. 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 Ok. We need. Ok. Ahí está la respuesta. We need some, some flow. Some. Y la persona vuelve a preguntar, do we need. Any sugar. Any sugar. Any sugar. Yeah. Any sugar. Yes, let's see. Any, any is the correct answer. Thank you, guys. So, do we need any sugar? Yes, we need some sugar. Some sugar and some juice. Some juice. Some juice. What is juice? Okay, juice is. Un polvo que le ponen al pan para que crezca se llama le levadura. levadura. Ok, levadura. yes, levadura. Juice. Yes, we need some sugar and some yeast. Yes. Y vuelve a preguntar a la persona: ¿Do we need any, any, any eggs? Any eggs? ¿Do we need any eggs? Ok. And then yeah, we have we need some yes, we need yes, we need some some, some eggs. eggs. Okay, yes, we need some eggs. Otra pregunta: Do we need some fruit? Any, or fruit? any, any fruit? fruit? Any fruit? Any fruit? Do we need any fruit? No. We no, we don't need, need any fruit. We don't, we don't need, need any fruit. Any fruit. Ok, excelente. No, we don't need any fruit. Easy. Ok, easy, right? Easy peasy, it's a piece of cake. This exercise was a piece of cake, right? Was easy. Um, just let me remember you that, remind you, just let me remind you that some is for affirmative sentences. We are going to use some in affirmative sentences. We are going to use any in question like this one, do we need any sugar? And also we are going to use any in negative sentences, in oraciones negativas, ¿verdad? 
Muy bien. Pueden escribir la palabra OK en el chat, please. Pueden escribir la palabra OK en el chat. OK. Ok, ok. Los primeros en escribir fueron, let me see, Catherine Giselle en María Consuelo. Catherine Giselle en María Consuelo, can you please practice this conversation? Yes. Ok. Let's see, Catherine, can you please start? Can you please start the conversation? What do you win need to take a cake? Well, Maria, can you continue? Please. Oh, okay. You... We need some flour. Do you we need any sugar? Yes, we need some sugar and some yes, yes. Do you we, do you we need any eggs? Yes, we need some eggs. Do you we need any bread? No. We don't need any fruit. Okay, thank you. So, thank you, Catherine. Thank you, Maria. That was excellent. So, in this question, I heard, do you, we need. In this case, we say, do we need. Necesitamos nosotros, do we need. No necesitamos el you, ¿verdad? So, do we need. Do we need any sugar? Okay, are you ready? Let's go again. Can you please write the word hello? Hello in the chat, please. Write the word hello. Hello. Okay, Maurice, you are the first one. And... Oh! <laughs> Give me a second. <laughs> Who were the first one? Maurice and? Maurice and Maria Consuelo. Okay. Maurice and Maria Consuelo. Ah, let's see. Veo que está mal escrito. Hello. Hello. Ah, oh, yeah. Sí, es doble L O. L L O. Okay, okay, then Ricardo de Jesus. Maurice and Ricardo, can you please practice the conversation? Okay. Okay, teacher. Maurice, you can start, please. Yeah. Okay. What do we need to make a cake? We need some flour. Do we need any sugar? Yes, we need some sugar and some yeast. Do, do we need any eggs? Yes, we need some eggs. Do we need any fruits? No, we don't any we don't need any fruit. Okay, thank you. Now the last period. Thank you, guys. You did a great job. Great, right? very good pronunciation. Thank you. Uh, the last, the last pair of students that are going to practice. Uh, pueden escribir la palabra. I like apples. I like apples. Vamos a ver. I like apples. I like. Okay, Miriam and Miriam Rocío and Ricardo de Jesus Ramirez. I like apples. Okay, Ricardo apples. I like apples in plural, right? Sorry. And Mercedes Elena, I like apples. The first one is a capital letter. La primera tiene que ser una letra mayúscula, right? So, María Consuelo, I like apples, apples. Falta una S en el plural. Ah, ¿no? ok, ok. Eso, veamos acá. And the same with María Consuelo, Morris, the S, right? Apples, apples. So, you need an S there. 
Mm, I like apples. Veamos quién más. Okay, Katia Elizabeth Hernández, can you please help me? With who was the first one? Sorry. With give my second. I lost the first one. Me, me, Miriam. Ah, okay, Miriam. Okay, Miriam. Uh, you me can teacher. start. You can start, Miriam. Okay. Okay. What do you need to make a cake? Uh, who was the other person? It was Miriam and Catherine, right? Okay, let me see. Okay, Lorena Elizabeth, can you help me please? I'm sorry. I lost the other person. Lorena, can you please help me? With... Yes, hi. hello teacher. Hello, Lorena, can you please help me with this? So Miriam is going to read A and you are going to read B, please. Okay. Miriam, can you please start again? Okay, what do you need to make cake? We need some flour. Do we need any sugar? Uh, yes, we need some sugar and some yes. Do we need any eggs? Yes, we need some eggs. Do we need any yes? Mm, the last no, sentence. we don't need any fruit. Okay, thank you. Excellent job. You did an excellent job. Thank you. Thank you. Excellent pronunciation. Now, in this conversation, there is a mistake. What is the mistake here? Hay una palabra que está mal escrita. What is the word? We. 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 En, mm -hmm. en cual oración? In which sentence? Do we need any eggs? Yes, you are right. Tiene una E de más, ¿verdad? Do we need any eggs? Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. So let's continue with today's topic. En el tema de hoy, we are going to learn this, right? Frequency adverbs. Como les comentaba anteriormente, los adverbios de frecuencia no sirven para decir ¿Qué tan seguido hacemos una actividad? ¿Con qué frecuencia hacemos eso? Y están acá en este cuadro. We can see the frequency under in this chart. So, they are the frequency adverb or adverb of frequency. We have always, usually, normally, generally, often, frequently, Sometimes, occasionally, seldom, hardly ever, rarely, and never. Uh, look at this. Normally and generally, están en el mismo nivel, ¿verdad? Normalmente, generalmente, often, infrequently, frecuentemente, ¿verdad? Podemos decirlo de estas dos maneras, often, infrequently. Sometimes, Sometimes, occasionally, seldom, hardly ever, rarely, and never. Los adverbios de frecuencia se clasifican según el porcentaje, ¿verdad? No es que sea así al 100%, ¿verdad? Pero sí con este porcentaje eh, lo comparamos, ¿verdad? Si usted hace una actividad, digamos, todos los días, sería el 100% de toda la semana. Entonces, yo sé, always. And look at this example. I always eat bread for breakfast. Yo siempre, ¿verdad? Siempre, oh. casi, casi todos los días, ¿verdad? Si no es que todos los días. I como. always eat bread for breakfast. Siempre como pan para el desayuno. Okay. 
So, usually, representa el 90% de las veces, 90% de frecuencia. So, I usually have cereal for breakfast. Yo usualmente, ¿verdad? Tomo cereal para el desayuno. O tengo cereal, ¿verdad? Para el desayuno. I usually have cereal for breakfast. Entonces, no todos los días, ¿verdad? Pero de toda la semana, quizás unos cinco, seis días, right? Usually. Normally, generally, I normally eat rice for lunch. Yo normalmente, normalmente como arroz para el almuerzo. I normally eat rice for lunch. Uh, it means cuatro veces a la semana, cinco veces a la semana, normally. And I have often, I often eat salad. Often or frequently. I often or frequently eat salad. So, digamos, unos cuatro o tres días a la semana come ensalada. Sometimes, I sometimes eat fish for lunch. I sometimes eat fish for lunch. Algunas veces, algunas veces. Uh, yo algunas veces como pescado para el almuerzo. I sometimes eat fish for lunch. Then occasionally, sería el 30% de las veces, uno, dos, o tres días, ¿verdad? A la semana, I occasionally eat pizza for dinner. Occasionalmente, occasionalmente como pizza para la cena. Seldom, seldom means, ok, seldom, raramente, ¿verdad? Raramente o pocas veces, I seldom drink soda for breakfast. Raras veces tomo soda para el desayuno. Eh, hardly ever and rarely. Rara, rara veces, casi nunca. ¿verdad? Casi nunca. I hardly ever drink coffee for lunch. Yo casi nunca tomo café para el almuerzo. I hardly ever drink coffee for lunch. Y por último llegamos al 0%. ¿verdad? Nada de frecuencia. O sea, nunca, nunca hace esa actividad. I never eat seafood for, for breakfast. I never eat seafood for breakfast. Yo nunca, ¿verdad? Como comida marina para el desayuno. Ok. Entonces, estos son los albedrios de frecuencia. Always, usually, normally, generally, often, frequently, sometimes, occasionally, Seldom, hardly ever, rarely, and never. And here I have some examples. Ooh, what is happening here in the chat? What is always? Okay, do you have any question? What is the meaning of always in Spanish? Siempre. 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 Yes. Siempre. What is the meaning of usually in Spanish? Usualmente. Usualmente. Okay, Exacto. what is the meaning of normally and generally? Normalmente. Thank you. And what is the meaning of often and frequently? Frequente. Frequente o frecuencia. A menudo. Okay, excellent. What about sometimes? What is the meaning of sometimes? Algunas veces. Occasionally. Occasionally. Ok, seldom. Raras veces. Raras veces. Ok, raras veces. Hardly O muy pocas veces. Raras veces o muy pocas veces. And hardly ever or rarely. Casi nunca. Casi, Casi, nunca. Casi nunca. And never. Nunca. Nunca. Nunca, ¿verdad? Nunca. And what about this sentence? I always eat bread for breakfast. Siempre como pan para el desayuno. Ok, en su caso, ¿cuál sería el adverbio de frecuencia correcto? Always. 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 Sometimes. Sometimes. Normally. Normally. Ok. Siguiente ejemplo. I usually have cereal for breakfast. ¿Cuál sería en su caso el adverbio correcto? Sometimes. Oh, usually. Ok. Sometimes I have a cereal for breakfast. Ok. Teacher, what do you say, Tortilla? Breakfast. Uh, what is the work? 
Can you please what repeat? Do you, what do you say, tortilla? Okay. Uh, tortilla. Tortilla, right? Tortilla. Thank yes. you. Se escribe lo mismo and we say tortilla. Okay. So normally, I normally eat rice for lunch. ¿Cuál sería su caso? ¿Cuál es el adverbio de frecuencia? Normally. Normally. Sometimes. Sometimes. Okay. Normally. I often, the next example, I often eat salad. Frecuentemente como ensalada. What about you? What is your case? What is the frequency oh, for you? Okay. Okay. Sometimes. Sometimes. I okay. sometimes eat salad. Okay. I usually, I usually eat salad. Okay, usualmente. Okay, el 90% de las veces. Excellent. Usually, the 90%. And the next example, I sometimes eat fish for lunch. What is your case? What What would be the frequency advert for you? I never eat fish for lunch. Okay. Occasionally. Okay. And the next one, I occasionally eat pizza for I'm dinner. Sorry. What is your case? I occasionally eat pizza for dinner. Hardly ever. Sometimes. Okay. I never. Rarely. Rarely, never. Okay. Rarely. And what about this one? I sell, don't drink soda for breakfast. I never, never, do never, 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 the next example, I hardly ever drink coffee for lunch. What is your case? Never. I never, never. I never. never. I usually drink coffee for lunch. Really? Usually? 90% yes. of the time? Ah, okay. Okay. For a week. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes, right. The coffee helps. The coffee helps, right? El café ayuda. I never eat seafood for breakfast. What is your case? What is your case here? Never. Never. Never, teacher. Okay. Never. never. Okay, excellent. So let's continue. Okay, now how to make sentences using these frequency adverbs? ¿Cómo vamos a hacer las oraciones utilizando estos adverbios de frecuencia? And I have here this, right? We need a subject. Mm, I have this structure for you. I, I need a subject, the adverb, uh, the main verb, and a complement. Subject plus adverb plus main verb plus a complement. So let's see this example. I always drink coffee for breakfast. Uh, here is the subject, here is the advert, here is the verb, and here is the complement. I always drink coffee for breakfast. Oh, yo siempre tomo café para el desayuno. What is your case? What is your case here? I always drink coffee for breakfast. Excellent. All time. I always drink coffee. I rarely drink coffee for breakfast. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, then let's go with the next example. He normally eats salad for lunch. He normally eats salad for lunch. Now, okay, look at this or pay attention to this. He is a third person. Es una tercera persona. Entonces, yeah. el verbo siempre, aunque estemos utilizando adverbios de frecuencia, Siempre va a ir en tercera persona. O sea, tenemos que conjugarlo. ¿Se acuerdan cuando vimos la primera clase del presente simple? A sí. todos los verbos le agregamos una S. S. Mínimo hay, una S. Hay algunas excepciones, ¿verdad? Los verbos que terminan en O, los verbos que terminan en 
en X, que terminan en CH, SH, agregamos ES y los verbos que terminan con Y y antes de esa Y va una consonante, tenemos que eliminarla y agregar I y S, ¿verdad? Una I, una E y una S. Entonces lo mismo vamos a hacer acá. He normally eats salad for lunch. Y ven el verbo, está en third person, está en yeah. tercera persona. He normally eats salad for lunch. What is your case? What is your case? I always eat salad for lunch. I never eat salad for lunch. What is your case? I always eat salad for lunch. Sometimes. I sometimes eat salad for lunch. Salad. I sometimes. Okay. Okay. So let's go with this. We can also use the following adverbs at the start of a sentence or at the beginning of a sentence. Nosotros también podemos usar los siguientes adverbios de frecuencia. Usually, normally, often, frequently, sometimes, and occasionally at the beginning of a sentence. Al inicio de la oración, ¿verdad? And we can say, occasionally, I like to eat Thai food. Mm. Ocasionalmente, me gusta comer comida tailandesa, ¿verdad? Sometimes, I drink tea for dinner. Algunas veces, yo tomo té para la cena. Entonces, ahí podemos ponerlo también al inicio de la oración, siempre y cuando sea uno de estos adverbios. Usually, normally, often, frequently, some frequent and occasional. Y siempre y cuando lleve una coma. Yes, we need to use this. Solo en el caso de sometimes, lo podemos usar con coma o sin coma. Right? Sometimes I drink tea for dinner. That is the section. Lo pudieron ver en el video, ¿verdad? Es, hay un video exp explicando eso en la plataforma. Sometimes se puede utilizar. Incluso se puede utilizar al final de la oración, ¿verdad? I drink tea for dinner, coma, sometimes. Okay. So, let's see, how often do you? How often do you? How often do you? ¿Con qué frecuencia? Usted hace lo siguiente. How often do you drink coffee? I never always. I always drink coffee. I always drink coffee. Okay. Usually I drink coffee. You say I drink I always, always coffee. Drink. Okay, wait, wait. Listen. Can you please listen? Escuché una oración que dijeron I drink always coffee. Está correcta. I drink always coffee. No. No, right? Tiene que ser antes del verbo va el adverbio. Después del sujeto va el adverbio. I always drink coffee. Thank you. Thank you. I always drink coffee. Let's go with the next. How often do you eat vegetables? ¿Con qué frecuencia come vegetales? Sometimes. I seldom eat vegetables. Okay, I seldom eat vegetables. I often eat vegetables. Okay, hay alguien que diga never. I never eat vegetables. Mm, I never. Okay, I never eat vegetables. Bueno, si fuera doctor, la regañaría. <laughs> <laughs> No, our body needs, right? our body needs, nuestro cuerpo necesita esos vegetales. Vegetables, yes. Let's go with the next one. How often do you drink soda? How often do you drink soda? I, I drink always. Soda. I always drink soda. I always drink soda. I always drink soda. I always drink soda. I Ok, I listen, occasionally, sometimes. Ok, muy pocos Yo never, ocasional. right? Muy pocos never. <laughs> I never. <laughs> ok, Michelle. Uh, how often do you cook chicken? How often do you cook chicken? I, I never cook. cook. I never cook. Usually. Ok. I sometimes. 
I use chicken. I hardly ever cook chicken. Okay. Often, often, frequently. Okay. Alguien dijo, I don't like cook chicken. I never, I never cook chicken. Cook chicken. Ok, I never cook chicken. Bueno, a alguien del grupo no le gusta cocinar pollo, right? I don't like to cook chicken. Ok. No Let's go with the next one. <laughs> I can't. Easy, easy. I can't. Uh -huh. I can't. Ok, how often do you buy fruit? ¿Con qué frecuencia I compra always fruta? buy fruit. Uh, I usually, 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 Fish. Okay, excellent. I occasionally eat fish. And what about the next one? How often do you cook spaghetti? I never. I, I never have spaghetti. Sometimes. usually cook spaghetti. Sometimes. Sometimes, okay. Sometimes, usually. Excellent. Let's go with the next one. How often do you drink lemonade? ¿Con qué frecuencia never. toma lemonada? Never. I usually, uh, ever. usually I like drink lemon. Usually, I usually I drink lemon. Usually. Okay. The next one. Eat out. How often do you eat out with your? Uh, how often do you eat out in a restaurant? I seldom eat. I sometimes. I seldom. I sometimes eat. Out. out, ok. Eat out significa ir a un restaurante o comer fuera de la casa. Ocasionally. Ocasionally. Ok. In the last one, how often do you eat French fries? Hardly ever. I hardly ever. I hardly ever eat French fries. I occasionally eat French fries. Okay. I still don't eat French fries. Right. I seldom eat French fries. Okay. Okay, excellent. So now let me see. Okay. Uh, Maria Consuelo, can you please tell me a color in English? ¿Cómo, cómo me dijo, can you please tell me a color in English? Ah, no entendí nada. <laughs> ¿Me puede decir ¿Color? un color en inglés? Ah, ok. Blue. Blue. Ok, vamos a ver si alguien de la clase anda algo azul. Uh, Luis, is my, my pants. My, my, my como, pants. It's gray. It's, what, what? More or less gray on blue. Ok, gray my or wall, blue. My wall. My wall. My God. Dar blue. <laughs> bueno, ah. ok. De, wow. los, de los que tienen encendida su cámara, Luis, ¿verdad? Luis, parece que tiene azul la camisa. Pantalón. <laughs> But I can see. Ok, you are wearing blue jeans. Ok. Ok, Luis, can you help me with the first one? Blue jeans, yeah. How often do you drink coffee? I usually drink coffee. Okay, I usually drink coffee. Excellent. Uh, okay. Uh, can you choose one of your classmates? Puedes escoger alguno de sus compañeros, please? Um, let me see. Catherine. 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 Okay, Catherine, can you answer the following question? How often do you eat vegetables? I hardly ever eat vegetables. Okay, thank you. Choose one of your classmates. Um, Ronald. Okay. Okay, Ronald, can you please answer this question? How often do you drink soda? I sometimes drink soda. Okay, thank you, Ronald. Can you please choose okay. one of your classmates? Um, Luis. Luis again? Okay. Again. Okay. okay, how often do you cook chicken, Luis? 
I never cook chicken. <laughs> okay. Okay. Choose the last. Choose the last of your classmate. El último. The last. Yes. Roxana. Ooh. Roxana. Okay, Roxana, can you can you please help me answering the following question? How often do you eat fish? I never eat fish. Okay, excellent. I never eat fish. Very good. Now I have here another exercise for you. Can you please read this text? Pueden leer este texto? Yes. Yes. Okay. Look at this. And it says, hello, everyone. My name is Daniela. Let me tell you that I don't like milk. I love to cook. My special plate is lasagna. I cook lasagna three times during the week. The secret wow. of a delicious lasagna is cheese. cheese. I always have some cheese on the refrigerator. My husband and I love meat. We eat meat five times a week. So now I have some question for you. How often does she drink milk? Wow. De la lectura. Con qué frecuencia toma ya leche? She never. 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 Oh, she never drinks milk, right? She never drinks milk. She doesn't like milk. So next question. How often mm -hmm. does she cook lasagna? Two. Three times. Three times. Three times. Three times. Three times. Three times a week. Three times a week. Okay, three, three times, times a week. week. Eso sería like sometimes. 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 Okay, she is sometimes cook lasagna. Yes. Uh, buy cheese. How often does she buy cheese? She always buy some cheese. She always. Okay, she buy always cheese. buys always. some always. cheese. We'll buy cheese. Uh, eat meat. How often does she eat meat? Always. 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 Always, right? She always, always. eats meat. Okay, we say she never drinks milk. She often cooks lasagna. lasagna. She always, always buys buy. cheese and she usually eat meat. She usually eat meat. Okay. Can you find a mistake? Can you find a mistake in the sentences? Uh, what is the mistake? In which sentence? She usually eats Okay, Mid. excellent. Es es? El excellent. Verbo el verbo es usually excellent. First person. Muy bien. bien. En los anteriores podemos ver cómo estamos hablando de tercera persona. Después yes. del adverbio, tiene que ir el verbo en tercera persona. Verbo, ¿no? yes. Entonces, en este caso, she usually eats meat. It's meat. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, oh, let me see what time is here. Okay, we also have this other way to make question. We are going to learn other type of question to us about frequency. Este es otro tipo de preguntas que podemos hacer, ¿verdad? Aparte de how often do you, podemos utilizar esta estructura en una pregunta. Vamos a utilizar do, Subject, do or does, plus the subject, plus the word ever, plus the bird, plus a complement. Look at this example. Do you ever drink coffee for dinner? Do you ever Sometimes. drink coffee for dinner? Y entonces respondemos yeah. de la siguiente manera. Yeah. Yes. I always do. Vaya, pueden apagar su micrófono un momento. Hay uno que está haciendo interference. Thank you. So, do you ever drink coffee for dinner? ¿Tú siempre tomas café para la cena? Yes, I always do. Sí, yes. yo siempre. Sometimes I do. Algunas veces lo hago. No, I never do. 
No, yo nunca hago eso. Eh, do you ever have eggs for breakfast? ¿Tú siempre tienes huevos para el desayuno? ¿Comes huevos para el desayuno? Yes, I always do. Sometimes I do. No, I never do. Do you ever eat salad for lunch? Sometimes I do. Okay, sometimes I do. Oh, yes, I always do. Um, you can change here, right? Pueden cambiar esto, right? Yes, I usually do. Um, um, usually I do. In this case, no, right? You can say, no, I ever do. No, yo nunca hago eso. Okay. Do you have any question? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta? So let's go with the last exercise. Can you please unscramble these sentences? Pueden por favor ordenar estas oraciones, unscramble the words and make a correct sentence. ¿Cuál sería la oración correcta? I never eat I I never eat eat meat for dinner. For dinner. Eat dinner. 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 Okay, excellent. Mm -hmm. I never mm -hmm. eat, eat meat for eat dinner. Meat for dinner. dinner. What about the next one? She always drinks for breakfast. She always drinks for breakfast. Okay, excellent. Excellent. You are doing a great job, right? You are good doing this kind of exercises. So number three. We never, we never, we never, never eat fast food. food. Excellent. We never, we never eat fast food or junk food, right? Es otra manera de decir comida rápida. Yeah. So chicken occasionally he sops and cooks. What is the correct sentence? He occasionally, he occasionally cooks chicken soup. Okay. He occasionally cooks chicken soup. Excellent. Number five. Do you ever have lunch? Do you ever have lunch? Do you ever have do you ever have rice for rice lunch? For lunch? Okay, thank you. That is the correct answer. Do you ever have rice for lunch? And the last one. How often do you eat pizza? Excellent. How often do you eat pizza? And I have the answer here. I never eat meat for dinner. Yeah. She always drink tea. We never eat fast food. He occasionally cooks chicken soup. Do you ever have rice for lunch? Do you ever have rice for lunch? And the last one, how often do you eat pizza? Okay. I have a question. What is your question? Uh, the ever en la oración sirve como auxiliar o tiene su significado? En esta oración significa siempre, ¿verdad? Tú siempre tienes arroz para el almuerzo. Aunque oh. traduciendo la serie, do you ever have rice for lunch? Es como si siempre comes arroz para el almuerzo, ¿verdad? Tenemos que darle contexto ¿verdad? al momento de traducir. Oh, gracias, teacher. Okay. Any other question? No more no, questions. Teacher. Okay, no. then thank you for your attention and thank you for your participation. Okay. Okay, do you have a question? This is the moment you can ask. Do you have a question? No. No, no question. Teacher. No question. no question. Okay. Okay. No you teacher. did a great job today, teacher. right? You did a great teacher. job today. Thank you. Yes, Maurice. Teacher, solo una pregunta. Tell me. Este, what's your question? La vez, pasada, la vez pasada que habló de las vacaciones, solo escuché que dijo que jueves, ¿no? 
No sé si me puede confirmar ahí qué días. Um, de hecho, hoy es nuestra última sesión virtual antes de vacaciones, ¿verdad? Ya mañana estamos de vacaciones y regresamos el lunes 9, 9 ¿verdad? El lunes 9 o sea de que agosto. Esta próxima semana no va a haber ni lunes, martes, miércoles, ni jueves, los cuatro días. No, no va a haber clase. We are going to have vacation. Vamos a tener ah, okay. vacaciones, pero ustedes pueden aprovechar esa hora para completar los ejercicios de la plataforma. Ok. Y, ok, sí le preguntaba porque la vez pasada que dijo usted, estaba algo cortado y solo le escuché jueves nada más. Entonces yo quizás solo un día nada más va a ser. No. Quería confirmar. <ríe> pero tenemos toda la semana de vacaciones, ¿verdad? We ah, have ok. The, the whole Thanks. week of vacation. So, si no hay más preguntas, pues, happy vacation, right? Y YouTube, okay, YouTube, teacher. Enjoy your vacation. Yeah. Disfruten su vacación. And And God bless you, teacher. teacher. Okay, God bless you too. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Eh, disfruten sus vacaciones. Cuídense mucho. No olviden trabajar en la plataforma, please. And okay. Enjoy, right? Enjoy with your family, with your friends. Disfrute con su familia, con sus amigos. Eh, if you are going to go out, si va a salir, be careful, right? Sea cuidadoso, right? Thank don't, you, teacher. Don't forget bye. your face, man. Bye, okay, teacher. Okay, so. And bye wash bye. your hands. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.